So the amount of turkey a person consumes during Thanksgiving dinner is claimed to be different among teens, adults, and seniors. Samples from each group um, are collected to verify the claim and our click with 0.1. We're going to assume that a number of requirements are satisfied because I don't know, I just made this problem up. But I'm going to make an assumption for the sake of this problem. So, how did we collect this data? We stopped people who went for a Thanksgiving dinner before they took the amount we measured and then we gave it to them. It's kind of creepy, but that's how this could happen. So, what does that one zero imply? That randomly selected person either ended up being a vegan eating tofurky, which is nasty. Oh no, not tofurky. Vegan turkey, what's that? Soy turkey. Yeah, it is tofurky. Um, but, their choice. Um, or, what is the other possible lesson? Even if they are a meat eater, They probably didn't go for turkey, they'd rather go ham um, or something else. So, teens, adults, seniors, and we measured the amount that they ate that particular day. We recorded that information. This is what I want you to do. Put this data in list one, that in list two, that in list three. We're not going to do augment. Combine all of these and put it in this form. Does that make sense? What's the first number? 6.4. Okay, thank you. All of this in list one, all of us in list two, all of us in list three, the combined list in list four. Yes? How would you put you on the microphone? I entered all the data for teens in list one, adults list two, seniors list three, combined all of them together, put it in list four. So what do we need? We need the group means, then we need the ground mean. So press start, go over to one variable statistics on list one. It gives us the mean, so x1 bar is 3.97. The standard deviation is 2.83. The number of observations is 6. Do the same for list 2. X2 bar is 6. S is 3.48. The sample size is 7. Do the same for list 3. Did everybody get 3.6? For, yeah. for the second one? Okay. Yeah, I got that. Okay, let me check. We've got 3.97. So I have 6.4, 7.8, 4 4.1, 3.4, 2.1. Ah, I missed one. Is it correct for the second one? The mean is 6, standard deviation is 3.48. Okay, let's redo the first one. Yeah, the second one was right. Is it correct? I don't believe so.
the first one. It is 346. Two point seven six. Of course, this has to increase by five. Two point seven six. Do the same for the third list. X three bar is eight point seven. S3 is 3.14 and 3 is 6. Almost identical variances. Um, that's okay. X bar is the grand mean. So we saved all of the observations in list four. So start over to calc. One more start. Four. Gina? Um, how did you save it to list four? Just typed it in. Took all of these numbers and typed it in list four. Oh, okay. Did we get 5.97? The grand standard deviation or the standard deviation of everything combined is 3.64. What is it? 64. Uppercase n is the total number of observations we have, which is 7 plus 7 plus 16, 6, which would be 20. We need k. What is k? k is the number of groups. How many groups do we have? So we found the individual means for the three groups, teens, adults, and seniors, the individual standard deviations, the individual sample sizes, which is obvious, X bar is the grand mean, which is the mean of all observations combined, N is the total sample size. S is the combined standard deviation. And K would be the number of groups. Good. Do you believe that things are different? Do we see differences? Let's just take a guess. When we complete this ANOVA, do you expect the ANOVA to reject or not reject? What are you leaning toward? Do we see differences? 3.6, 6, 8.7. Do you believe that they are significantly different? Maybe. Maybe not. We are setting a level of 0.01. We'll just wait and, and see what happens. So, for usual, what is this? The null is mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3, where 1 would be the teens group, 2 would be adults, so mu teens is equal to mu adults. Mu sinks. So the averages are the same. The alternative
at least one of them differ from the rest. Keep in mind, ANOVA can only tell you if there are differences, but it cannot tell you which ones are exactly different. We need a postdoc to test to determine. Step two, alpha is 0.01. It's the probability of a, a type 1 error under the given null. We want it to be 1% or less. Step three is sample information, which we have right here. Um, the means and the standard deviation and so forth. Step four is where we find the test statistic. To find the test statistic, we need the sum of squares for the treatment and the sum of squares for um, the error. Since we have three groups, it would be n1, x1 bar minus x bar squared, plus n2, x2 bar minus x bar squared, plus n3, x3 bar minus x bar squared. If you have four, a similar term would be added, you would simply have n4 multiplied by x4 bar minus x bar squat. We've got 7 times N minus 7, so 7 multiplied by the first group mean minus the ground mean squared. Second sample size is 7. First, second group mean is 6 minus 5.97 squared. Third group sample size multiplied by the mean of the third group minus the ground mean squared. Tell me what number you get. What do we get? 84.04 Yes. SS error, sum of squares for error is simply SSE. A standard notation that we use is x1 bar minus x1 bar squared plus x2 bar minus x2 bar squared x3 bar minus x3 bar squared. You don't have to pay attention to the notation. But what does the dot mean? Remember in words I wrote last time sum over all observations? That's what this means. I'm going to show you how we can find this easily using the calculator. So, we have to take every single observation in list one, subtract the mean of that particular group, square it, and then do the same and last time we used augmented stuff. The easier way is to press second, start, go over to map. Option number five 
there is salt. So, start. Let me do it again. Second, start. Go over the map. Option number five is sum. So, every single observation in list one. So, second one. Minus the mean. We need another parenthesis, so let me add another. The second parenthesis is important. Second one minus the grant, uh, the mean of that particular group, 3.6. Squat. I'm trying to do this in one step. Hopefully this works. So every single observation in this one, in group one, minus its mean, sum of their squares enter, we get 45.82. Every single observation in the second group minus the mean of that group squared. Uh, how would we go about doing this? Second, start, over to map, number five. So, the parentheses are important, second two, second group, minus the mean of the second group, which is six, one, sum over all of those, you get 72.86. Any guesses how we would do the third group? Second, start. Go over to math. Option number five. Another friend. Second group. Minus 8.7. Forty nine point three six. So forty five point eight two plus seventy two point eight six plus forty nine point three six. And what do we get? 168.04. 168.04. Now it is time to construct the ANOVA table. We have three groups, so the degrees of freedom for treatment would be two. The error, the total number of observations is 20, so 20 minus the number of groups that we have would be the degrees of freedom for error. So 20 minus three would be 17. If you add those, you get 90. In terms of a formula, this would be k minus 1, n minus k, n, n minus k, and n minus 1. Sum of squares for the treatment is 84.04. Sum of squares for error is 168.04. How do we find the mean squared? F1 
S is divided by the DF, uh, which would be 47.02. 168.04 divided by 17, what do we get? 9. Point Eight eight nine? Eight 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 five. Eight point no, nine point eight eight five. Nine point eight eight five. So nine point eight eight five. How do we find the F statistic? We simply divide MS treatment divided by MS error. So what do you guess? Um for the treatment one I got forty two point eight. You are right. It is 42.82, it's 84.04, thank you. So 42.02 divided by 9.89 would give the uh, F statistic, and what is the value? So the test statistic is 4.25. Can I erase this down? How do we find the fee value? Since ANOVA is a right tail test, p bar lead is the area above the test statistic. What function should we use in the calculator? FCDF. Where do we start? We start at the value of the test statistic, which is 4.25. We end at E99. The degrees of freedom for the numerator, which is 2. The degrees of freedom for the denominator, which is 17. Put that all in, and what do we get? Okay. Where did you get 4.25? Divide MS treatment by MS. that we aim for? No. So this is greater than 0.01, so we do not reject null. Had I lowered my standard and set that value of alpha to be 0.05, in other words, 5%, would I reject the null? Yes. So, you see how the choice of alpha could change the position entirely? Long, long time ago, I mentioned alpha is very subjective when we first started. The choice of alpha will affect your position, and this is a borderline case. If I pick alpha equals 0.05, I'll reject null. 0.01, do not reject null. 
But this is me being very strict. I need a 1% error, probability of error, or less. So given the choice between 5% error or less, 1% error or less, error or, error or less, someone would go for 1% error or less, probability of error. Um, what, but what should we do if we have a borderline case such as this? We resample again to see if we get the same conclusion. Does that make sense? So if, we, if it is clear cut, then great. If it is not, one more time, resample, conduct the study again. Are we clear? I'll show you how in your calculator, it's very straightforward to take this, conduct an ANOVA. So go over to start, tests, all the way to the bottom, ANOVA. We have the data stored in list one, list two, list three. Second one, comma, second two, comma, second three. Do those values match the values we have? F statistic, 4.25, E value, 0.0318, TF is 2, SS 84.04, MS 42.02, and rest is history. Good. So if you look at SXP, which is 3.14, seems to be quite close to what we have here. So that is simply an estimator for the global or the total food standard deviation. Good. Are we clear? <laughs>